Still ahead tonight, saving an American tradition, how the radical writer's trick team is keeping the wild, wild west a part of our living culture. Welcome back to Common Ground. There was a time in American history when horses were used not only for travel but for entertainment. Western shows and rodeos were huge. But now in the U.S. there are less than 100 daredevil horse riders left. So Common Ground's Mike Carroll introduces us to Jan Mendoza and the Radical Riders Trick Team out of Wheatland to show us how they're trying to keep history alive. I've been riding horses since I was like nine years old. I had got my first pony, so I've been riding horses a long time and been riding in rodeos and drill team. All right, here comes Corey. She's working it out. This is a crowd pleaser. You connect to the horse. You trust them and they trust you. It's really cool. So I went out and took some trick riding lessons and I just got addicted to it. Okay, Delaney's gonna do the fender drag. Curl your knee in. That's it. I just like riding horses. Wave to the crowd. This way, look, see? You gotta smile and look at the audience. You gotta make it look so easy. <laughs> yeah, it was kinda like a midlife crisis, I guess. <laughs> That's what my husband's calling it. It used to be the biggest thing at the rodeo. You would go to a rodeo back in the 20s, 30s, all the way to the 40s, even the 50s and 60s, you would see a trick rider at every single rodeo. And it's just become kind of, uh, it, it just kind of waned. And I think we're losing a big part of our heritage. I'm hoping to bring it back a little bit. As soon as she gets warmed up, boy, you can't stop her. This is our third week. Year and a half, maybe? <laughs> it's fun, but it's always an adventure. Whoa! A lot of times we'll go flying, you just kind of got to crawl and fight your way back into the saddle. You need to bring your arms in like this, all right? Hop up and tack. Make it look good. Yep, that's it. That's it. You got it. You got it. Get a good hook in, let go. I want to close my eyes, but I can't because then I have to kind of watch what's going on. <laughs> it's kind of cool to drag your hands on the ground. Corey's nailed him. Yeah. Good job. Remember, the more speed you get, both hands on the horn. Come on, Oreo. I'm kind of daring, so a lot of common sense doesn't really come into my plan. <laughs> oh, ate some dirt. Hey, sell it. Can you do a cartwheel? <laughs> hey, when I broke my arm at the rodeo, I was still waving to the crowd when they were taking me out on the backboard. Usually the adrenaline kicks in, and then you just do it. I've been around horses since I was two. Remember, the faster they go, the easier it is. Not very many people do it, but I think with what Jan's doing, I think it might pick up a little bit more. Go ahead and do just lazy back or something just to, just to keep her going. Come on, Oreo. To tell you the whole truth, I don't really know what uh, half the time what I'm going to do. The hardest part is just getting over that fear to just... That's the horse we know. Come on, Oreo. Jump off the horse. So now I just close my eyes and I don't even worry about it. Good job. That's what we want. We like it. We're going to stick with it. So if you own a horse, if you have a horse sitting in your backyard, a kid can get on him. Suicide drag? Pretty mellow, easy going, doesn't shy away, doesn't buck or rear, have any kind of bad vices like that. I can teach you to trick right on that horse. Good job. If you have a horse and would like to learn how to trick ride, you can visit Jan Mendoza's Radical Riders Trick Team at www.radicalriderstrickteam.com. And seeing that I am a Wheatland High School alum, it's only fitting to say, go Pirates. That's going to do it for this edition of Common Ground. If you have any story ideas or things you'd like to share with